Tonight, one week after Florida Highway Patrol Trooper Joseph Bullock was laid to rest, there is new insight into the moments surrounding the deadly interstate attack that claimed his life. The Martin County Sheriff's Office releasing calls and dash cam video at the heart of the investigation. WPTV News Channel 5's Mega McRoberts outlines that confusing, chaotic and deadly scene. Well, those calls and videos helped investigators learn that trooper Joseph Bullock had encountered that disabled driver turned shooter twice that morning, and they learned that the two spent more than an hour together before shots were fired. Heading north on I-95 around 9 a.m. on February 5th, dash camera from trooper Joseph Bullock's car shows him pulling up to check on a stranded SUV. In this last moment seen alive, the trooper talks to Franklin Reed III for about a minute. Investigators believe Reed ran out of gas but told the trooper he didn't need help, and Bullock leaves. Less than an hour later, a driver calls 911 reporting what they think is a crash, but it's Reed. Only his SUV somehow moved further into the gully. Trooper Bullock heads back and stays on scene nearly an hour. It wasn't until the trooper comes back and the vehicle is down in the gully that the trooper does what he has to do. He can't leave it down in there. Now it's, he just can't leave it there. So he orders that tow truck, and now it's up to Reed to pay for it, and Reed does not want to pay for it. So there's a dispute there. Uh, Reed wants his truck back. That those, uh, tow truck's not releasing until he gets paid. Bullock is just waiting there, letting them work it out. At 11:18, the first calls come into 911 from the tow company. The trooper was shot at point blank range by Reed. Then Reed turns the gun on the tow truck driver, but the gun jams. We're going to collect payment. The person that we went out shot the FHP officer, and he's chasing after my driver on 95. That tow truck driver is captured on private dash cam running for safety. A minute later at 1119, an off-duty Riviera Beach police officer pulls up to the scene. So do other bystanders who call 911 while also taking cover. State trooper shot. Gun fired. Shot fired. The Riviera Beach police officer shoots Reed in the chest. Reed then put the gun to his own head and killed himself. Okay, are you able to safely get to him to check on him? I'm, I'm going to try to get up here, dude. I just, I don't want to get shot, bro. Within three minutes, every available law enforcement officer makes it to the scene, confirming at 1126, Bullock lost his life. There's no indication that uh, Trooper Bullock saw what was coming or could in any way have prevented it. Investigators also said Reed was a suspect in a theft case out of Palm Bay the day before the shooting. He otherwise had no criminal history, and they do not believe that played into any kind of a motive. The tow truck driver is back to work, and he is receiving counseling from the Martin County Sheriff's Office. Reporting in Martin County, I'm Megan McRoberts. Back to you. Tonight we're also seeing and hearing the tense moments on the side of 95 as that off-duty Riviera Beach police officer engaged the suspect that ended with a shootout. It's down on the ground, down on the ground, down on the ground. Jamel Headings driving to work that morning, heading south when he saw the chaos surrounding Trooper Bullock's cruiser. Video from the Sheriff's Office helicopter shows him scrambling to put his protective vest on with his gun drawn. He's standing next to Bullock's vehicle. The sheriff said the suspect fired two shots at the Revere Beach officer. The officer returned fire, striking the man in the chest. Seconds later, the suspect shot himself in the head. Detective Headings justifiable actions undoubtedly prevented further violence and an armed confrontation between responding Martin County deputies and read. The officer remains on administrative leave, which is standard protocol. FDLE says its investigation into the officer involved shooting is still active. Trooper Bullock spent 19 years serving our community, his family and friends and law enforcement and far beyond. Indeed, all of us honored that life motivated by a sense of duty. For a look at our coverage on this tragedy and to hear more about how Trooper Bullock is being remembered, please go to WPTV.com and our WPTV app.